Hey, Seraphie. Sorry to bring it up again, but I was hoping we could discuss Tama. Huh? Tama? Oh, you're talking about Tama Mohime. A long, long time ago. So far back that I can't put a number on it. She and I went through some stuff. After we got mixed up with a really dangerous crowd. You mean the Order of the Circle? Tama told me about it. What? Well, well, if she dropped that name, then your Tama must be the same as the one I knew. What the schnoz is going on, anyway? Well... Dude, really? I do not remember that. Tama did that? Hmm... I still don't fully buy it, but... Say she did sacrifice her lives. To what end? It almost sounds like the Guardians of Time. Guardians of Time? Beings from the realm of fantasy who keep watch over this big clock and use people's lives so as to alter the course of our history. Preposterous, right? As credible as tea-stealing fairies. A clock that intervenes in history? That sounds just like that girl's tea room. <laughs> You're right! Huh? So, does that make her a... Guardian of Time? Like who? Wow. So this is what the inside of this place actually looks like. Wait, Guardians are real? Does this mean that fairies who steal your teeth are too? Hmm? Are you here for tea? I don't think I was expecting guests. Oh yes. I may very well have collected her lives. But whatever's done is done. <gasps> I cannot return any lives that were spent to traverse time. Sorry. But, but there's gotta be... There must be some secret trick. A secret trick? Hey! I have an idea. Why don't we track down a QB? Aren't they part of the same tribe of mirages that Tama is? Huh? To manipulate time, Tama used more than one of her lives, right? If I'm not mistaken, she had what? About nine lives in total? What if we swapped some of her lives out? Then we could go back before she made her sacrifice and replace some of her lives with the lives of a QB instead. She turned time back so far she needed to use nine lives? But you may be onto something. A mirage from the same tribe with the same kind of soul could offer some souls in Tama's place. You mean it? But, Seraphie, dude! Now that's a secret trick! Hmm? Oh! Well, what did you say again? <laughs> okay. If you can bring me a QB, I'll help you out. So, like... The QB is a mirage? Cause I haven't seen one. Where do we find it? I'll try the rumor radar. I limit the search to Yurugos and other fox-like mirages like Tama. Oh... Look out, kids. I think we have a winner. What do you mean, winner? It seems that some lady was killed in the Ceronian ice fields by a giant black fox. Or, so I heard. In that case, Charlotta might know more about it. Let's go! Again. What's up? 
Well, that's creepy. You're here about the black fox? Wait, what do you mean? Hmm. I knew the woman who was killed. She was... my aunt. Huh? What? Huh? Wait, if she's your aunt, she's gotta be. She has to be. Yes, that's correct. She was Uncle Taka, I mean, the Thane of Saronia's wife. Hang on. If that's a coincidence, it really is creepy. Tell me, why do you need to find that black fox? You wanted to share its lives? Well, good luck with that. I figured. Not the sharing type. It doesn't matter. We should still try to get our hands on its prismarium. Then why not let me help you out? I can take you to where the fox is. Refia, are you sure? Yes, I'll be fine. And Rain and Lon will be there. Whoa, whoa. Let's not forget I'm going to. Oh, of course. Goes without saying. Mm-hmm. That's more like it. Okay. Well, you be careful out there. Hmm. Oh, and you don't have to turn into a cat and follow us this time. I know, I know. Just get going. So, uh, where is this black fox hiding out? It should be an icicle ridge. There's a path, separate from the one that leads to the harbor. It's a little harder to find. Well, why don't I go on ahead? See you at the entrance. Hi ho What can I do for you? Oh, you want a real scare. But I don't feel like wearing out my face muscles, and the animators didn't feel like going the extra mile, so why don't we just leave it at next time, okay? Okay. This is the place where he lost her. Uh, yeah! uh, what the? It's coming from over there. Hurry! Why? That mirage. Why do I loathe it with every fiber of my being? If you were my Uncle Taka, then of course you would despise that mirage. Hmm? Is that Refia? And you? Uh, hiya. <laughs> Once again, I feel the pull of destiny. Boy, am I really not glad to see you. Tell me, Refia. Why is it natural? I would hate that thing. You can tell me first. Who am I really talking to? Me. A knight of the Bahamushan army. But this flesh I inhabit belonged to the human you so lovingly called Taka. His body? Then you've possessed him? So, then, where is he? Dead for quite some time now. <gasps> Monster! Is that what you consider honor? Oh no. Those are the rules of this world. The human body is a weakness, the door most easily breached. <sighs> Enough of this. You will answer my question. Why do I bear such incredible enmity for that mirage? That guy whose body you're camping out in? His wife was killed by that mirage. If you look at that fox and feel hatred for it, it means his memory? No. His soul still lives on inside of you. That's absurd! No trace of him could remain. 
And yet, the hatred inside of me, it is unmistakable. <coughs> Oh, I see! Another twist of fate! Yes! Of course! And your arrival is one of the resulting kinks! I see it! Fascinating! Let us test this portentous bond and see just how fast it holds! Uh-oh. If we let that karmic kook find the black fox and kill it, won't that ruin all of our chances? Oh, let's go after him, Rain! Right! I wish hope. Yeah! That wasn't so bad. This the culprit we're after, Seraphy? Well, it does look exactly like Tama does in her more regal form. All right, then let's imprison it. Oh, but don't forget that it has multiple lives. <laughs> For now, forget about imprisoning it. You should focus on defeating it. All right, then that's what we'll do. Lon, you ready? <laughs> and then it can give us its soul. Your life is mine! Hmm? What now? My heart. The anger that held it has given way to something far worse. That's Uncle Taka. What he would feel. My uncle would never hurt anyone, not even a fly. And he never tried to take revenge for my aunt. No matter how much you hate someone, when you lash out, it just leaves you empty. He always said so. Empty. So this is how it feels to be human. Watch out! If it's like Tama, we have to assume this thing has got nine lives. Well, how many does it have left? No wonder the thing wouldn't die, no matter how many times I killed it. <laughs> so be it. <sighs> Whoa! Did you see that? Lon, these shiny things must contain the Black Fox's lives. Dude, nice! So, it seems this body, and with it my soul, must expire. It's down to two lives. That's all you left it with. You must have had a grueling fight. And yet I have nothing to show for my great struggle. Nothing at all. <sighs> and now, it seems, my time to leave this world has come. If I may ask you one favor. 
To see this man is buried alongside his beloved wife. Did Refia leave already? Yeah. They're going to hold a proper funeral in Seronia. Gotcha. Well, Refia's a strong girl. She's gonna be all right. Anyway, I suppose I should head over there and make myself useful. You going on all fours? Like I told you, it's very simple. Cats get around? You know it. <laughs> So, who wants to go back to Ninewood Hills and bring that girl the QB lives we got like the bad mom bombs we are? Sounds good. to acquire its souls? Huh? Oh no. Did we botch up the job? Hmm. It's a little unorthodox, but this could work. What do you mean? Since you brought two, we'll use one to spin a new thread and give Tama the other so that she'll have a life to spare when the time comes. Cool! Whatever that means, let's do it! Okay, I'll do my best to keep the changes to a minimum. You don't have to stay here and watch. Um, are you sure? It's a lot to explain, not to mention the long ritual. And since time is going to change, you won't remember anyway. Anybody home in there? Huh? Maybe she's so tired of your antics, she finally the flatlined. Look at the what you've reduced her to. Whoa, 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 whoa. I have never anticked once in my entire life. You don't even know what to do. Rain? Don't, what's the matter? Huh? What? I, I was just really happy to see you was all. That's weird. Oh, the K. Time for what? Huh? Sorry. Felt like the right thing to say. The way you're working your keeper keisters off, I figured it was time for a final battle. My bad. You're right. Let's go find Wynn and round up the summoners. I think that we're ready. So this is it. Oh, dude! I am so excited! Drum roll, please. Ready to start the operation? Fine then. Come see me if you party poopers change your mind. Welcome to the rift between what now? What now? See you soon?
taking a break now. What now? Who's so Since we're both pixies, I thought, hey, I may as well ask her about transfiguration. Hmm? Transfig? Why now? Now that Tom has learned to transfig and get all godlike, I can't help but feel a bit... I don't know if I'd say jealous. Uh, it's more like, really, it's just a pang. Just a smidge of micro-envy. Just a smidge, huh? <laughs> It sounds tough. You have to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with high-level mirages. I'm not sure I'm cut out for it. Non-combatant and all that. <laughs> huh? You want to help her out? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> How's this? Maybe we three can help you out a smidge. Really, dude? That's sweet. Uh... I did not mean to channel Lon just now. Hmm? Wait a sec. We three? Never mind. Now, Siren, call in a high-level mirage. Slow down! I'm not sure I'm ready for this. Oh, it'll be fine. Right? Hey, who are you talking to now? <laughs> hey! When did you get on board? I guess that means Wynn is on to us, huh? She definitely knows what's the up. But how the come I have to work my butt off just to help This is it! That doesn't seem right at the all. Well, just pretend you're helping us collect mirages. Except I don't think this mirage is too happy about being collected. Fine. <laughs> My time has come. I shall rule on high. Now, no mirage can stand in my way. Not so fast. The only reason you won just now is because Lon and Rain were there to help you out. Huh? Well, they can do that? Sure can. You must have sensed them there, by your side? Hmm... I don't know what's going on, but... The important thing here... Is that I won. Right, now that my prismarium has gotten just a little more robusty... I expect to do great things. Lawn, rain, 